hello everyone welcome to math explorer in this video i'm going to solve this interesting square root math problem that is square root of 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 raised to power 5 raised to power 6 so here we will try to find the value of this square root math problem how can we solve square root of such a number so here this number this exponential number is in this form a raised to power b raised to power c raised to power d and so on so if we have a number in this form so we can solve the powers from the top to bottom so here we will first solve this power 3 raised to c raised to power d now here we will start to solve these powers from top to bottom so we will start from 5 raised to power 6 so first we will find the value of 5 raised to power 6 now what is the value of 5 raised to power 6 so 5 raised to power 6 is 5 raised to power 6 means we need to multiply this number 5 6 times so this will become 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 no there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times 5 now by multiplying this 5 6 times it will give same a number maybe in thousands or in millions so let us suppose this product gives same a number let us suppose that number is equal to x we say that number a variable x so here we will replace this power raised to power 6 with x so this problem will become here we will replace this power 5 raised to power 6 with x so this equation will become is equal to square root of the this exponential number will become 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 and this is x power raised to power 6 is x and here we will solve this power 1 raised to power x now we know that 1 raised to power x is always equal to 1 for any number x if x is any number maybe in hundreds thousands and millions now here we will replace 1 raised to power x with 1 here in this step so this will become is equal to this will become square root of 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 and this is 1 here we will find the value of 2 raised to power 1 to simplify this number further now what is the value of 2 raised to power 1 here the value of 2 raised to power 1 is simply 2 this is because here we need to multiply 2 1 time so this is only 2 so here we will replace this 2 raised to power 1 with 2 so this number will become is equal to square root of this will become 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 and here we will find the value of this power 4 raised to power 2 the power raised to power 2 means we need to multiply 4 2 times. So 4 times 4 is 16. So the value of 4 raised to power 2 is 16. So here we will replace this power with 16. So this will become is equal to this will become square root of 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 is 16. So this comes to this form what we will do here here we will change this square root to its equivalent number that is equal to 1 over 2 or half fraction so here we will use a property inside this number so here we will use this one property we know that square root of any number a can also be written as a raised to power 1 over 2 because this square root is equivalent to 1 over 2 or half so the same we will do here in this step we will change this square root to 1 over 2 or half so this will become 3 raised to power 16 whole raised to power 1 by 2 now here in this step we will use an exponential math property and we will multiply the powers with each other so here we will use this one exponential math property in this step a raised to power m whole raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power m times n so by using this exponential property here we will multiply these two numbers 16 with 1 over 2 so this will become 
3 raised to power here it is 16 times 1 over 2 here we will simplify these two numbers 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 8 is 16 so this will become 3 raised to power 8 now next we can write this 3 raised to power 8 as 8 can be written as 4 plus 4 now here in this one number we will use another exponential math property and we will spread these powers over this base 3 so here we will use this exponential property in this step a raised to power x plus y for any two numbers x and y it's, it can be written as a raised to power x times a raised to power y so using this exponential property here in this one number this number will become 3 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 4 now what is the value of 3 raised to power 4? 3 raised to power 4 means we need to multiply 3 4 times. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 times 3 is 81. So 3 raised to power 4 is 81 times 81. Now next we can write this 81 as 80 plus 1. And the same we will do with this one number 80 plus 1. Now here we will multiply this number 80 first with these two numbers first with 80 and then with 1 and then we will multiply this one with these two numbers first with 80 and then with 1. So this will become 80 times 80 is 80 square plus 80 times 1 is simply 80 plus 1 time 80 is 80 plus 1 times 1 is 1 square which is simply 1. Now we will solve these numbers and find out the value of this problem. Now what is the value of 80 square? 80 square is here 8 square is 64 and we will double these zeros so this will become 6400 plus 80 plus 80 is 160 plus 1. Now finally we will add these three numbers and we will find out the answer. Now here we will start from the worst position. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5 comma 6. So 6561 is our answer. Means that 6561 is our answer and value of this interesting square root math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching